So in this video we're going to be looking at the hunt whistle who have been using food and a dummy in the garden and a distraction free environment so now we're just going to use a little bit of cover being the tuft of grass uh, to the left of the screen uh, but we're also incorporating a positive stop um, within the training so Millie starts to learn that stop is always followed by a hunt whistle or something positive. So with that she instantly gains success and brings the dummy straight back. So just incorporate a bit of steadiness and keep it varied so she doesn't get bored. So I've just thrown a dummy there and then asked her to heel up towards it and then we'll ask her to sit just in the position that we've had her sat before. And then I'll just hide that dummy further, just driving it in. So it just makes it a little bit more challenging each time. She has a tendency to get a little bit bored if it if it is too easy. Stop, hunt. You can see she's really keen to try and find that. Then come straight back with it. So in this one, we've just been doing some heel work. Then I'm going to really plant that dummy under that grass. Get it covered up, make it a little bit more difficult for her. And just ask her to focus whilst I walk back. Blow a stop whistle. Then surprise it, keep her on her toes with a recall. And then we'll just heel back up to that location again. Ask her to sit. It's quite windy, so I think she'd rather be sampling what's in the wind sometimes, but we'll work through it. Stop whistle, hunt whistle. Straight into that, that cover now, get more confident and straight back with the dummy. Again, I'm just driving the rabbit ball under the cover, just making sure she has to hunt thoroughly for it and just give her a little bit of a fuss there for waiting nice and patiently. This time I'm going to send her, stop her exactly where she's been stopped before. Instant stop, followed by a really keen hunt. And then straight back to hand. So we're just building up the distance slightly here. I've just thrown a dummy out. Um, just to practice a little bit of steadiness and we'll heel up to the area. I'm not too concerned how hard the dummy is to find at this point. I just want to build the distance up and build on what we've already accomplished in this session. Uh, so I'll just leave Millie in the area and I'll walk back and recall her. And then I'll send her. Stop her, get a nice sharp stop. Ask her to hunt. Gets almost instant success. And comes straight back. So we're just going to finish with a marked retrieve just to end on a high for Millie. Um, it's probably worth noting also that I won't do too much sending and stopping at this point. Just whilst I continue to build a bit more value in that stop. Just so when we start to piece it all together, um, we have a lot more success in the... Um, sending and stopping because she associates the stop whistle with something positive after it. <laughs> 